Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're um, gathered today uh, as we see remarkable displays of courage uh, throughout Iran as women, young people, and many others continue to stand up for the fundamental rights that continue to be denied them uh, by the uh, Iranian regime. This is in many ways not a new story. Uh, this has been going on uh, for years, for decades, but uh, in the wake of uh, Masamini's death and the spontaneous demonstration um, of outrage that this has produced, um, I think we are seeing something that uh, is quite remarkable uh, throughout the country, um, led primarily by women and, and young people. Um, this denial of fundamental rights, uh, fundamental freedoms, uh, is um, something that uh, the United States has long worked against, uh, as have many other countries around the world. But first and foremost, this is the Iranian people standing up with extraordinary courage for the rights that are being denied them. Uh, we've worked to support those who are standing for their fundamental freedoms, despite the efforts uh, of the regime to deny them the ability to assemble, uh, to uh, speak freely, uh, to communicate with each other. Uh, we've imposed sanctions on the so-called morality police that are engaged in incredibly abusive practices. Um, we have, of course, worked to license uh, technology so that um, the Iranians have the ability to communicate with one another and to communicate with the outside world. Uh, but today, uh, I was especially eager to hear from colleagues who've themselves, in many different ways, been on the front lines of the struggle for fundamental freedom uh, and fundamental rights uh, in Iran, to hear from them, uh, to listen to them, uh, to learn from them. Uh, the final thing is this. Um, I know that uh, the Iranian regime uh, will try to paint uh, this and uh, other uh, expressions of uh, solidarity with those standing up for their freedoms as uh, evidence that uh, these protests are somehow made outside of uh, Iran and the work of, of others. And if that's the case, if they genuinely believe that, they fundamentally, fundamentally do not understand their own people um, because this is uh, about Iran's struggle, the struggle of the people of Iran for the fundamental freedoms that have long been denied them. That's what this is about. Uh, and the sooner the regime understands that and acts on that, uh, the better everyone will be. Thank you. Thank you.